Yo guys, welcome back to another Dumb Watching Memorial Freeze video and it is the time we have been waiting for all of these months. Every video you've been hearing me, you know, go on about the collab this, the collab that. It's finally here. We've got info on what the collab is. Um, I'm not going to hold out on you. It is Goblin Slayer. Now, I know a lot of you are maybe a bit disappointed in that, but Goblin Slayer was an amazing anime. It's an amazing manga. This is a good collab. It may, might not be Konosuba or, or Sword Art Online or any of those other things that a lot of mainstream anime viewers wanted. I'm down now. <laughs> Don't come at me. Anyway, but before we get into it, <clears throat> I am over here on the uh, Tech Fam Discord. I do apologize about the light situation. Uh, I'm waiting for my lighting setup to be delivered. Anyway, so I'm over here on the Tech Fam Discord. Big shout out to Gail Wright who has just finished posting all of the translations for all of the details that we got from the live stream. Uh, big shout out to Tech obviously for providing the server. And uh, just before we get into it, I do want to say um, Tech posted a video this morning. I, if I remember, I'm going to try and remember to post the link to the video in the description. Um, but he has or he's basically said that he. This collab sort of will be the, the end of his content for Dalmachi on YouTube, if I understand what he said correctly. I did watch the video, I just don't want to put words in his mouth. Uh, and if that is the case, I do wish him the best of luck. I am going to still be subscribed and, and uh, watch his content and hope for the best and support him on whatever he is uh, making. But uh, I think he deserved a, a moment, a shout out. Um, for being such a, a staple of this community you know uh, there aren't many people that cover well when I say there aren't many people there aren't many people that cover this game to that degree and standard of quality so he definitely deserved a shout out and uh, thank you for everything you've done tech and uh, good luck in the future now emotional crap aside <laughs> let's get into it so we are over here like i said on the tech fam discord a uh, big shout out once again to gail right all of the appropriate links for accreditation will be in the description uh huh all right so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna play this it, it was an it, mm, you guys should go over to the discord and watch it it's actually really good we have the cover art we obviously you know, I'm not even going to click on that because it will probably be later on, lower down later on. Anyway, okay, so we get the, we get a free uh, Goblin Slayer character. Uh, th there's more than this. I like the art. I do like the art. Um, okay, so get a free MLB fencer by completing the story missions. Fair enough. Get a copy of Goblin Slayer by completing the story as well. So you get one free copy of the summonable Goblin Slayer unit. Will be an adventure, obviously, uh, which is great. Means having to spend less Iris. <laughs> I apologize if you can hear the helicopter passing by. There's nothing I can do about that. Uh huh. Goblin Slayer Crown release. Oh, Goblin Crown. Yeah, I'm not sure if that if that is a movie or a series or a new um, chapter in the manga or something. But yeah, so Goblin Crown, Goblin Crown is releasing on the first of February. We get a hundred free Iris on its launch. That's great. And okay, so we're gonna get into the characters. I. It's my birthday tomorrow and I won't be doing any videos. In fact, I'm pretty much away from my computer uh, until Sunday. So I'm going to go over the characters now. And obviously, if you just want to know if you should summon on these banners. Yes, man. What have you been saving for all these months? <laughs> uh, if you haven't been saving all these months, you should still probably summon on these banners anyway. Because they're celebration collab banners. The chances are before I even get into what they do, they're probably going to be... Uh, meta relative and maybe power creep maybe even overpowered who knows but we're gonna get into it anyway so I do like the artwork I do definitely like the artwork okay so special attack strength ultra dark physical attack damage plus 60% per self strength buff for three turns self strength and dark damage plus 90% that's a serious buff and he's see he's following in line with the uh, recent releases of uh, units that do damage based on how many buffs that they have on them, um, <clears throat> which like I said, there will definitely be meta relevant and 
as you can see he is at least for his special special attack <laughs> don't just smack my microphone don't worry okay skill one um but, um, wait, I think there's a type. Is there a type up here? Okay, strength and dark damage plus 90% for four turns. Bows, crit and pen rate and physical resist and dark resist minus 30%. Okay, so you buff your own strength and dark damage by 90% for four turns. As well as lowering crit, pen, physical resist and dark. Jesus Christ, that is so much, so much to do, to do in one skill. <laughs> I need to MLB this guy straight up um, just based on that skill and yeah the sun's gone down my lighting's even worse uh, anyway so AOE mid dark physical attack with ultra on guard rate four turns foe strength and AOE resist minus 20% I like that I like that so AOE skills will do more damage then uh, based on that so <sighs> Single target AoE dark physical attack with high penetration and strength boost for three turns. Self strength and dark damage plus forty percent. Passive ogre killer. Okay, priest. I like I like him. He he actually does seem. I mean he. I say he seems strong. He does seem incredibly strong. Um, you know what? I'm, I don't like this mine at all. But ah, I can't change it mid video. Don't worry about it. <laughs> um he does seem incredibly strong so i will be definitely trying to max him out but then we should have all be trying to max him out anyway okay so priestess sorry i'm making this drag out longer than these so i'm already at six minutes okay so priestess let's have a quick look at the artwork okay it's a little bit simple i think they could have done better um but then she's she looks that way in the anime anyway so Okay, so special attack, single target, ultra thunder, magic attack with temporary magic boost for three turns, allies, strength and magic plus 80%. Okay, cool. So, it's good that they uh, give her a, a okay, she, she, sorry, let me collect my thoughts. Okay, so she boosts strength and magic with this special attack, which is great because, uh, you're gonna have her in a hybrid party most of the time anyway i assume just based on uh how she played what role she plays in the anime so you want to put her on the team with physical attackers anyway so she wants to be paired with goblin slayer because that makes sense that she would buff physical attack too so uh allies strength and magic attack wait yeah the typos throw me off that's what's happening here so strength and magic plus 80 percent for three turns foes strength and magic minus 35 percent allies 35 percent hp regen that's crazy yeah um wow okay allies 35 percent hp regen yeah <laughs> i see what's happening here the 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 lines are throwing me off those okay so it's a separate skill i was gonna say hp regen on top of all of that would be mad <laughs> 35% HP regen, far, uh, four turns. Okay. Uh, special attack gauge plus 33%. Foes, low thunder magic attack. Uncounter, single target, thunder magic attack with temporary strength with allies status buff. And foes status debuff plus two turns. She. Okay, so she. Can, if you, uh, mm, Sorry, I got like, way too excited just reading that last bit. Allies, status buff, and foes, status debuff, plus two turns. Okay, guys, if you do not have the non-time-limited Haruhime, if you've been using like your prayers, your hopes, your wishes, your thoughts, everything on every gold like three-star ticket or two-star ticket trying to pull that non-time-limited Haruhime, do not stress. Max limit break this girl. She is a good replacement. <laughs> That is that's great. I love that. So we have a, a, a supplement for Haruhime now. Fantastic. So all of you guys that have been struggling, including myself, I don't have the uh, non-time limited Haruhime either. So that is great. Okay, High Elf Archer. Let's have a quick look at the artwork. I like it. Plain, simple. <laughs> to the point. Anyway, special attack, AOE Thunder, ultra physical attack with ultra on guard for three turns. Bows, physical resist, and thunder resist minus 30%. Fast for five turns of dex and thunder damage. Okay, so. These, oh, I'm gonna get it. Don't worry, I will get it. Alright, so. 
Front skill one. Uh, fast five turn self dex and thunder damage plus sixty percent. Allies dex and thunder damage plus thirty percent. Okay, cool. So skill two. AOE super physical attack with ultra penetration and skill damage plus sixty percent on stunned targets. Ooh, I like that damage. That adds a little bit of depth to it, so uh, she gets a damage increase for, uh, to anyone that is stunned. Adds a little bit of depth to combat, which is great. Does she stun, though? Oh, wait. I should imagine someone else on these banners stuns. Anyway, so... Skill 3. Single target, high physical attack or ultra critical skill damage plus 30%. For each self dex buff okay cool they've all got ogre killer and 90 percent stun upon counter so she can stun. um that's i mean that's cool but in most cases in most cases a lot of enemies res have like resistance to all of that anyway so i mean it, it is what it is that's probably still going to be pretty strong in war game if you up her decks enough she could potentially stun the entire enemy team which is a little bit busted i shouldn't have told you guys that i should have kept that to myself <laughs> uh anyway moving on kashima i can't pronounce that last name let's not do this let's not pretend that i can i like this i do like this artwork it's really good um okay special attack aoe dark ultra physical attack with ultra iron guard Skill damage plus 50% for each self dex buff. Okay, skill 2. Fast for 5 turns, self strength, dark guard rate, and counter rate plus 40%. Oh, okay, so wait. I assume that, yeah, so it's probably been directly translated from Japanese. That's what's throwing me off a little bit. So he boosts his own strength, dex, guard rate, and counter rate by 40. That's good. I mean, not so much guard rate. I'm not too fussed about that, but counter rate and strength and dark plus 40 percent can't go wrong uh where are we at skill there's got to be a typo oh yeah it was supposed to be skill one okay skill two aoe dark high physical attack with high penetration with temporary strength boost self status buff plus two turns plus 10 percent hp drain excuse me <laughs> uh i ate quickly <laughs> start you didn't need to know that um skill three single target dark high physical attack with ultra critical with temporary strength boost and taunt passive 60 percent taunt upon counter yo this i mean just looking at this it adds oh, this it adds uh, uh, uh sorry the lighting's really throwing me off it adds uh, a really different level of complexity and team building to it i'm going to enjoy this team building is one of my favorite parts of this game uh, besides summoning, obviously. Uh, and then we have Noble Fencer, the free-to-play unit, which I'm not even going to bother covering. I'm not going to, not going to bother. Uh, and then we have the assists. So Cowgirl. Oh, Kawaii. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. That's so bad. <laughs> uh, okay. I mean, I like, I do like the artwork. Allies, strength and magic plus fifteen percent. HP regen plus fifteen percent. That is a well-rounded assist. It's one she seems basically. I say well-rounded. She suits the hybrid team comp that seems to be uh, for, being forced upon you here because obviously the priestess wants to be paired up with uh, Goblin Slayer, which means you need to buff both strength and magic for your team. I, I get it. It's cool. It is definitely cool. I like that. I like that. And. Um, I mean, she instantly replaces the OVA Hestia, though. That's the problem. You know, with the additional HP regen, whereas Hestia only has the strength and magic buff. Uh, Chigasar. Allies, endurance, agility, and dexterity, plus 10%, foes, 80%, slow. No! That's so busted. Ah, uh, I need her first before anyone else. <laughs> That's it. Uh, okay, right. Moving on. Moving on. These are the the banners. Uh, obviously. Okay, so we're going for this one first because I need that Chigasa, regardless of what anyone says. I'll be. I'll probably be doing all ten steps on both, and hopefully I have time to save 
another 8k or at least around that and top myself up for the other two other banners because there should be a part two or at least they said it was going to be a part two fate and chance coolio logging oh heroic trials oh yeah yeah okay um login bonuses we are getting 80 iris and two guaranteed yeah english guaranteed three stars uh record buster revere is back um we have the bundles which doesn't really matter to a lot of you and then obviously we have the dates for everything to come so it all kicks off on all right record buster starts tomorrow and then everything else kicks off on the 30th which is fantastic that's all from today's string oh and then obviously we have all of the uh True fam uh, familiar, true royale. Okay, new generation familiar event. Oh yeah, because that was on the. Um, they did say they were going to add new familiar events to uh, the roadmap that was posted a long time ago. The artwork is all here. You can have a look for yourself. This, I mean, I know a lot of people are disappointed. This lighting is really annoying me. Uh, I know a lot of people are disappointed, um, but. I, I'm really hyped for this. Um, Goblin Slayer was a great anime. It, it may not be up there with like uh, in popularity with the likes of Sword Art Online or Konosu or any of those, but it does have a steady cult following, and there are going to be a lot of people like myself who really liked it and are really happy that this is. Uh, something that's come along over the the use because honestly if we got kono suba or, or sort of online or anything like that it would literally just be uh the same as always we get a generic shonen anime and 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 that's that but you know this is different obviously it's gone off semi off mainstream and i like that anyway guys i again i'm i'm sorry about the lighting i know it's crap you can't really see my face i'm, I'm trying to fix that um <laughs> But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you're as hyped as I am. Make sure to drop a like if you did enjoy the video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't. Make sure to follow me on Twitter. The link will be in the description. If you want to join my community, the link to my Discord will be in the description. Thank you to everyone over at the Tech Fam Discord once again. Gail Riot and Tech especially. And as always, guys, I'll catch you later.